E module today topic electrical safety rules first aid to electrocuted person need for electric safety every year in India thousands of casualties and many more injured due to contact with the electric supply to avoid this the more you know about how electricity works the better you keep yourself safe electric shock our body is actually a good conductor when the body touches the bare live conductor current flows from the body to earth and body gets shock the severity of shock depends upon the amount of current passed through the body and the duration of current passed through. The basic parameters for electric shock is a current. The current is the most important variable which determines the severity of electric shock, voltage and resistance. For example, wet condition our body resistance is high. Wet condition our body resistance very low compared to dry. Here you observe this bird, bird is not getting shock since no flow of current through the body, no potential difference across the body. Here the person will get shock, why because the current passed through the person to the earth. At the same time bird will not get shock. Here, the person touches in zero potential or ground, so the person will not get shock. At the same time, bird also will not get shock. No current flows through this person. Electrical safety rules. It is important to take safety precautions when working with electricity. Safe should not be compromised and safety rules must be followed first. No work should be done within a distance of 2 meters or less from the live OHG without granting permit to work. Use only those devices that are properly grounded or insulated properly. If you have to work near HTE lines, take safety precautions. While working nearby HTE lines, ensure discharge rods both sides after obtaining permit to work from authorized person. Don't touch any broken OHE wires. Don't touch the two ends of a fracture rails with bare hands. In sheds, for any roof inspections required, ensure locomotive is in deanergizer condition. Keep the DJ lower the panto and ground the locomotive with HYM switch. Ensure OHE supply to be switched off by opening isolator and locking properly. OHE to be earthed on both ends of loco using discharge rods. First aid to electrocuted person. First stop the electrical supply. Don't touch the casualty directly. If that is not possible then use any bad con conductor of electricity like wood, rubber to move the casualty away from the supply first. Immediately call the emergency medical treatment preferable first to local doctor and or ambulance. Tell them it is an electrical accident. The victim is not contact with electricity and you are sure that there is no danger give first aid until the ambulance arrives. Check airway and breathing of the casualty. If anyone is missing, immediately give mouth to mouth respirations to the casualty or CPR that is a cardiopulmonary resuscitation according to the electrical need to keep his pulse and breathing normal. Cover the burns if any with help of dressing pad. Don't touch burns. Here mouth to mouth artificial respiration. Now, demonstration on a cardio pulmonary recitation. 
CPR. Hello. In this health sketch, we want to talk to you about CPR, which stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We use CPR when someone has collapsed and is not breathing, because it can keep people alive until emergency services arrive. Learning these simple life-saving skills is as easy as ABC. All you have to remember is the doctor's ABC. D is for danger. First, look around carefully to make sure the area is safe for yourself and others before approaching. R is for response. Shake them gently by the shoulders and ask them loudly, Are you all right? If there is no response, you need to. S. Shout for help, as any assistance will be helpful. A is for airway. Gently tilt the head back like this to open up the airway. B is for breathing. Look, listen and feel for signs of normal breathing. Look for normal chest movements. Listen for normal breathing sounds. And try to feel their breath against your face. Do this for no more than 10 seconds. If there is no sign of breathing, or if they are breathing in an unusual, noisy way, we need to start CPR. First, make sure that an ambulance is on its way. If you have someone with you, ask them to make the call. Putting the phone on speaker mode is useful as the ambulance service can talk you through the steps. C is for circulation. Circulation means the flow of blood around the body and when the heart stops pumping, we need to take over this role by pushing down hard and fast on the chest. Start by placing the heel of one hand at the centre of the person's chest and interlock your fingers like this. With arms straightened, press down hard and fast, letting the chest come back up fully each time. Fast means around two times every second. And hard means that the chest needs to go down by about 5 centimetres. This might sound a lot, but you do need to push hard for it to be effective. If you have been trained, you can give two rescue breaths after every 30 compressions, as this helps provide some oxygen. However, if you have not been trained or are not comfortable, just keep going with hands-only continuous chest compressions. If someone else is with you, swap over if you begin to feel tired and don't stop until either a health professional takes over or the person is definitely breathing normally.